Hey everyone, in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the Twitter dashboard for your Twitter account. Now if you're like me and you're a power user of Twitter and you like to schedule out your tweets, maybe you're using Buffer or Hootsuite, Twitter offers the same thing for free and a whole bunch of other tools that you can use right inside the dashboard. So let's get started. Okay, so we're over on dashboard.twitter.com and I'll leave a link down in the description below. You'll have to log into your Twitter account and I'm also on the desktop laptop type of situation here. They do have a dashboard app which you can get the same features. All right, let's start over on the left hand side in this navigation area. We have about you, which is all the things that Twitter thinks are related to you. And we'll get to that in a minute, how you can edit that. You get your tweets. So all the things that I've tweeted in, in the last uh, day or so. And then you have your timeline. And this is what uh, everyone that you follow is tweeting about currently. And then you have, have something down here called security feed and the ability to add a new feed. I'll get to that in a little bit. Let's take about you. So we'll click over back over there. And you noticed here, there's a, a, a gentleman here named David Bradley who is offering the temperature in uh, somewhere in God knows where, somewhere called South Lawrence. Obviously, that's not related to me. So what I can do is I can go into edit and I can say, here's what people should be talking about. Here's something that's related to me. And so I can put in Larry Snow. Now, if you click under show advanced filters, you have the ability to remove things that aren't related to your business. So I can do Larry comma snow and I can do South space Lawrence or just snow in general. And that will eliminate a lot of the clutter that I usually get that uh, Twitter thinks is about me. When you're done with your edits, you'll click on save, and then your about you feed is much more specific to actually about you. Now, moving down, you can go to your tweets. Pretty simple there. You can actually create a tweet here. Uh, type in anything you want. You can add an image from your desktop, laptop, or your uh, photo library on your phone. You add in a uh, GIF, and you can tweet it out. But here's the neat thing. You can actually click this down arrow, and it says schedule a tweet. Now, if we click on that, we're presented with this little scheduling app here. And so we can schedule the time and the day we want this tweet to go out. And it doesn't have to be in the next 10 days. We can keep on going all the way out whatever day we want, whatever time we want. Now, if you want an expanded version of this and really get to town here, click on the Create at the very top here, in the top navigation. And down here, you'll have your queue. You can add in all the days of the week. You can add in, uh, so this already picked up what we were looking at. I can select a date in the future. I'll say 1230. We'll say tw uh, the 22nd. Uh, we'll do a GIF, agree, there you go, and then we can schedule the tweet. And it'll show up down here in your somewhat of a calendar system. So it's similar to Buffer or Hootsuite. You don't have to do just one tweet per day. You can keep on adding more and more tweets. So that's a great functionality of the dashboard. So you don't even have to go to your profile to tweet something. Next, we go into uh, analytics. Now, in a previous video, I did uh, the four tools for your four Twitter tools for your business. One of the ones was your, your analytics, but you get your ana analytics right inside your Twitter dashboard. And we just take a scroll down. We have uh, 59 new followers, 258 visits and views, tweet impressions. So you can get it right here inside the dashboard. Let's go back to home. So we talked about your tweets, we talked about your timeline. Now we get into feeds. 
Now you can add a new feed and I associate this kind of like a Twitter search where you can actually have a saved search. But one of the neat things that you can do here, unlike you can do in a Twitter search, is actually exclude items from a particular tweet. So we can say, uh, let's do hashtag WordCamp. And we can hit enter, then we hit uh, WordPress. And for the exclude item, we'll just do PHP. And now we have a nice filtered, we can take a look at it, nice filtered um, feed that we can just grab, uh, take a look at on the go. And then we just give a title, we'll just call it WordPress feed. And click done and then click save. And now we have it added to our dashboard homepage. And we can just flip flop between security and WordPress on the fly. Now to delete anything on your feed, you can just click on the edit button and you just click on the trash can, delete. So there you go, that is the Twitter dashboard for free from Twitter what could be better? Go check it out. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel so that you get notified when a new video goes up on YouTube. And please check out LarrySnow.me for more tutorials and articles on WordPress, social media, and the business of security. And I'll see you in the next video.